Welcome, friends! Your favorite degenerates, Krista and Jason, are at it again! Let's celebrate the day! What's the situation, Degenerate Nation? What's happening, Degenerates? Hey, uh, so we made it through Dorian as this video uh, is being recorded. Uh, Dorian is past our house, so uh, all of our stuff is good, and it is uh, passing by Massachusetts as we speak, and our friends are safe. Um, pretty minor impacts, really, for the, uh, for the U.S. Well, for us, there are some... <clears throat> the Bahamas, on the other hand, is taking this one on the chin. So, uh... We thought we would do the drink this week, uh, Bahamas Classic, and we would do Sky Juice. Yes. And I never thought that I would stand before you uh, doing a drink of gin. Uh, in all fairness, um, had I seen the recipe, um, we probably would have passed over this one. Actually, we have until now. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but we we uh, we found that we like gin in certain things, and uh, like I said, as a tribute to our friends from the Bahamas. Um, that our thoughts are with them, we thought we would mix up a Bahama classic called Sky Juice. Sky Juice. Very simple I, recipe. What, um, don't they, they, they have a couple other names for it, don't they? Gully Washer? Gully, yeah. Why would we drink something called Gully Wash? Why would you drink uh, Sex on the Beach or uh, Blowjob or... Okay, moving <laughs> on. Um, so... What is Sky Juice? Is there any history on it? Do we have? I have I mean, searched high low here. for history on the drink Sky Juice, and I can't really find anything that's uh, worth repeating. Uh, so I don't really have any history on on actual Sky Juice, the drink. But it's a pretty simple recipe. I'll throw the recipe up here. It's uh, two ounces of gin, an ounce of sweetened condensed milk, six ounces of coconut water. Um, basically, uh, you you tumble it or give it a shake in the glass you're going to drink it in, so that way you've got your proportions correct. Uh, it uh, comes out to uh, the quick math on it is about an 8% drink. Okay. It's got about 0.8 of an ounce of pure alcohol in it because it has Oops. two ounces of 40 proof gin in it. Okay. The more juniper forward your gin is, the better the drink's supposed to taste. Now, we were so concerned about this being a gin drink, but we, we really like wanted to represent the Bahamas, and we already did the Bahama Mama. Right. But this week we really wanted to pay some. Uh, Throw our thoughts and prayers and um, stuff like that. And uh, look for a video where we're going to do a YouTube challenge to try and support some of these people as much as the cruise community had. I won't, I won't bother with uh, delving into that much of that here, but if you'll, you'll please watch and share the other video, that would be much appreciated, and maybe we can uh, do more than thoughts and prayers. Yes. So. So, at, am I mixing while you, while you talk? Sure. So, here we go. Two ounces of gin. Oh. Um, you what? Gonna, and we're going to just mix them right in the glass. You see we don't have the top of our shaker, so basically this would be fill this glass with ice, add the ingredients, <coughs> give it a shake, drink. Right? Oh, no, we got a topper thingy. Um, do you want... We, we have had gin in the past, so do you well, want Well, both this? of these are relatively juniper forward um, Well, why don't we do... I, I think so we let's finish have... off the Bombay. Yeah, I and think... And then we... we'll start on the bee feeder. I don't think we have... The Bombay is a pretty spendy gin, in my opinion. But <laughs> That's all we had left. <laughs> the uh, the beef eater is it's relatively inexpensive. I'll go get some ice. Okay. Yeah, we only had enough um, Bombay. Pete, I, we, we needed gin for some other drink we did. It had an ounce of gin in it. We weren't excited about that, but... Okay, I got my two ounces of gin. Okay. Okay. Ounce is a ounce, one ounce of sweetened condensed milk. Okay, um, I, I, this is really cool because it's just like the um, coconut cream. You just squirt it out. Oh, you already poured it in here. I just poured your gin out. Oh. You gotta redo the gin. Now okay. I have gin infused ice. Gin infused ice, sweet. Okay. I might be able to. Uh, nope. Oh, that's your gin. Hold up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unfuck this real quick. This was in the freezer, so this should relatively pretty much be all freaking gin. There we go. Okay. Ta-da. Nothing, nothing but a well-produced program for our degenerate nation. <laughs> so we have our um, beef eater sapphire combo. 
and we 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 were so concerned did i say that we were so concerned about this drink that we actually mixed it up beforehand <laughs> yes so we've done we've had a pre-game yeah we 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 mixed one of these up and uh i think you're going to be pleasantly surprised if you can get past just just get past the name the, Jan the and you're weird, fine. The, no, it, it is. It sounds weird. It's coconut water. It's sweetened condensed milk. It's gin. It, that doesn't sound like something that should be tasty, but the people of the Bahamas know. Yes, they know. They're smart. Six now, ounces of coconut water. Now we have these coconut. Do we let's, try a, let's try a legit coconut. Do we have something we can pour the coconut water into? No? Okay, no. I'm going to go get a measuring glass real quick, and then um, we're going to have some fun. You can watch Jason make a total a-hole out of himself trying to get into a coconut. Okay. I watched a YouTube video, so I know. He's smart. So we're going to do it two different ways. We're going to try one with the boxed um, coconut water, which, and we'll try one with a legit coconut. So to keep the expense down, obviously, the, the carton of coconut water is going to be cheaper. Yes. Although, I have to say, coconuts aren't super expensive. It was five bucks for two coconuts. Right. We'll see how much juice we actually get out of them. I don't have any. No! This? This? No? Honey, this, 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 no. No, okay. No. You're supposed to do it with a screwdriver. This isn't a video on how to open a coconut. But you're supposed to be able to poke the eyes with a little bit of strength. Come on, muscles, you got this. If you've got beard power, you can open a coconut. Don't hurt yourself. Without well, the a dude. hammer. Wait, oh, without a hammer. Yeah. Oh, God. What? If this video ends up with blood in it, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> That's the way all my jobs end up. So. <laughs> right? You gotta, you gotta show it a little love. There you go. <laughs> now you're feeling it. Oh, you did it, baby. You like Would that? you stop that? <laughs> Quit molesting the coconut. That's it. Relax. I didn't say it was expeditious. <laughs> you might want to crack a beer while this happens. <laughs> you know what this thing needs? More. A good reaming. <laughs> it needs a reaming. Oh God. Let me get out my convincer. Whoa! Whoa! And if you can find green coconuts, that would obviously be where it's at. We were at the Winn-Dixie. They don't carry green coconuts, so... So, I, um... I think we should go back to this plan, because that looks pretty disgusting. Well, what do you want? Uh, you want a coffee filter, or...? I don't know. I'm going with this. I don't care if it looks dirty or not. I mean, you know, the whole thing sounds pretty weird anyway, right? It does. By the ingredients. Oh, yeah. I guess start putting the stuff back on the Man, table. it just keeps coming out. I mean, like, this is like a defying the laws of physics. <laughs> like, it's got a prostate issue. Okay, well, we're supposed to use six ounces of coconut juice. I'm almost there. Hey, cheater. Yep. There's five ounces. I'm just going to put that in there because I think my... Okay, well, I'm at six right there, so I'm going to stop with this one. Okay. All right, we're straight. I thought we had a bend in the universe. We crossed the streams like Ghostbusters or something. No, the only thing that was in my glass here was gin and the sweetened condensed milk. That's why I didn't understand why it wouldn't... Yeah, this is really nummy, honey. All right, so uh, to the people of the Bahamas. Our prayers are with you. Love our you much. Our thoughts are with you. We'll be back as fast as we can. Oh, try it with the, uh, the dirty juice. The dirty? You want me to drink dirty? Oh. It's a bit sweeter right? with the, uh, the raw coconut juice. Yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't say 
they're substantially different, no. they're marginally different. Marginally different. I I think... would, we're not making poor drinks with the carton of juice, but this no. is this is better. And when we were testing this out on our pregame, um, you had read some people add nutmeg to it. Well, I was ripping something off from the painkiller. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so the the painkiller so. has the coconut cream, and right? this one has coconut water. So I was like, you know, that really that coconut and nutmeggy thing really went well. So I figure, did you just eat straight? No, I got way? a coconut piece in my mouth. And so, if you want to, it's uh, the, the, I think their traditional garnish is going to be a lime, where you could probably squeeze the lime into it and then uh, garnish it with the lime. Right. But the uh, the little nutmeg, it's a little something something. It's a little something something. I don't know what it does, but it does. Well, it's it's part um, part smell. So you get that smell going across and that prepares God, your palate. Zing. Yeah, a little zip. Yeah, it puts a little pep in our step. <laughs> so anyway, um, the Bahamas. We do have a little fun stuff on the Bahamas. Yeah, I really like the Bahamas. I love Nassau when we visited. Our yep. next port that we were going to go to was Freeport. Um, and I think um, the next time we do go to the Bahamas, um, it will be to definitely get to Freeport. Um, I know, I'm just, I'm devastated though every time we've been there it's been beautiful the people have been friendly and kind and <sighs> bahamas what about you baby i love the bahamas well anything any anywhere i get on a cruise ship somewhere and it takes me to somewhere else <laughs> including the bahamas <laughs> i'm a pretty happy guy about that yeah that usually it elevates my day somewhat right and uh we dig the bahamas and uh you know like the, the, the bahamas a little quick uh about the Bahamas. It's like 700 different islands, um, uh, 100,000 square miles of ocean in the Bahamas. Did you know that? That's so much paradise. That's paradise. Um, visibility in a lot of the Bahamas is actually like 200 feet deep. It's some of the clearest water in the world right off the coast of Florida. That's How why cool we love that? it. Yeah. And you know when you're like when you're coming into uh, NASA. To NASA off the ship and you're looking in the water and it looks like it's really shallow but here's this big giant ship in right. this what looks like shallow water because it's so clear so that's pretty cool um, home to the Andros coral reef one of the cleanest reefs still hasn't been as, as impacted as like the Great Barrier or the uh, what's the reef down by uh, Honduras anyway um, and home to some uh, specific species that only survive there of, uh, of flora and fauna. The uh, flying gunnet, gunnard, the rock lobster, and the sharp-nosed pufferfish are down in this, this particular area. The uh, Christopher Columbus found the islands in 1492 on his way to America, the, the New World. While he was How sailing cool the ocean that? blue. Yeah. Once again, Christopher Columbus, he's got right. his, yeah, but he stopped there first, so you know. And Once got again, some rum. I think when he got to America, he might have been a little disappointed and wanted to go back to the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah, I was. <wouldn't. laughs> That's my case when I get off a cruise ship. How far are we? do we live? I mean, officially, how, how many miles are we from the I Bahamas? I think it's 80 from Miami to, uh, isn't it? Something like that? Yeah, no, it's I don't not know very exactly. far. I think we're less than 150 miles from the Bahamas. Um, America and the Bahamas have always had a relationship just due to the nature of our proximity. But during the Civil War, the, uh, the Bahamas experienced a bit of an economic boon because cotton was being blockaded. So the British couldn't come and get in their cotton from America. So the, the, the degenerates among us would take the cotton to the Bahamas, trade with the British, and then bring the money home. Oh! Right? And guess when it happened again? Uh, when? Prohibition. Oh! Rum runners. Rum! Rum runners. Yeah. I like rum. And, hey! Uh, it was such an economic boom when we had prohibition for the Bahamas that it actually crashed their economy when it was done. Oh. And we're like, all right, game on. We can all drink again. We're sorry about that. Our bad. And the, it, they had scaled up their operations so much and there was so much money moving through Bahamas that it actually crashed their economy. Wow. Right. That's pretty scary that Americans can drink that much alcohol. This is kind of powerful. It's a good drink. Um, so we visited the Queen's Staircase in NASA when we were there, which is uh, built by the slaves. Um, Queen Elizabeth freed the slaves, and it was uh, named in her honor as the Queen's Staircase for uh, the abolition of slavery, uh, 
uh, uh, slavery ended in the Bahamas in uh, 1838. And uh, when do you guess? Guess when you think the Bahamas became an independent nation, not under rule of some other country? I think they're still under rule, aren't they? Mm -mm. Oh, 25 years ago. Wow, that's pretty close, actually. Uh, uh, July 10th, 1973. Oh, so. So pretty pretty a, new yeah, nation 50, to be to be years, honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was a hotbed for pirates. Obviously. Yeah, I was thinking Johnny Depp when you were talking about rum yeah, runners. And that I'm many like, islands. The rum is not that gone much, it's That here. much clear water. That many places to hide things. So and it was it was in close proximity to the shipping lanes. Mm -hmm. So as cargo and goods moved on ships, the pirates had all these really great places to hang out that were fairly, you know, there wasn't anybody hanging out there, so they were doing their business without outside influence. And uh, it got to be kind of a fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, especially because Johnny Depp, he got left on an island with rum, and then he Blackbeard, got rescued. Blackbeard, Calico Jack, uh, all did time in the Bahamas as uh, with their pirate adventures. Now, in uh, 1718, the pirates were offered amnesty because it was coming such a problem that they were given the option of accept the amnesty, run, or be hanged. Hung, oh. Hanged? Hanged? Ow. So uh, 300 of them, actually, 300 is a lot of pirates, right? That's a lot Back of pirates. Arrgh. So they accepted an amnesty. Guys like Blackbeard that were hardcore pirates and were going to give up on the lifestyle, they ran. Um, Blackbeard did some time in Honduras. Honduras, yeah. The rest of the, a lot of Central America, the Caribbean, but... Uh, that was kind of how that went, and I can't imagine how many people actually got hung for piracy back in the day in the Bahamas to put an end to this, uh, the nightmare. Dang. All right. Um, Nassau has actually been destroyed twice. So if, uh, if there's some hope for the Bahamas is that they, they, they have a real habit of picking up and getting on with the rest of their lives. When were they destroyed, honey? Uh, the years, I don't know if I remember. You know, I don't have it, but it was once by Spanish troops and then by the French and Spanish navies oh. destroyed Nassau. So this is the first time, a, well, but I mean, you look at hurricanes in the past, they have destroyed some beautiful locations. Yeah, in Puerto Rico. And they have bounced Maria, back. I mean, like recent memory. Yeah. Places that uh, we know and love. So. Yeah, um, I mean, Berbata is still in our thoughts. We think about mm -hmm. Berbata all the time. Uh, that was Hurricane Irma. Um, Puerto Rico was Irma. Uh, um, Irma and Maria did and Maria, a, lot, yeah. a lot. <laughs> this is only recent history. But yeah, these are the last there, five years. It's not the first time that a hurricane has run through somewhere. I don't recall, and I haven't seen any history on a hurricane that did what this hurricane did by just sitting and camping out over the top of uh uh, yeah. At one location. The only time I remember this much devastation was um, Katrina. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, it's it's because of the flooding and this and, is their Harvey, their Katrina, and yeah. um, they're gonna need our our, our help. But just uh, they're such my, a small country. My biggest concern right now is just getting them medical attention and fed Food and, water. and shelter and things like that. You know, and I so we'll look for the other video. I won't. I won't get into all of that here, but guess how many tourists visited the Bahamas in 2018? Well, there was 25,000 there on the day that we were there in, in January in Nassau. So how many, honey? 6.6 .6 million people called the Bahamas a place to spend some time for recreation in 2018. But in all fairness, I would live there. Well, if I won the lottery or something, of course. I would live there. I ain't got no issue with that. No. This damn drink's pretty damn good, too. It's pretty, it's pretty tasty. <laughs> yeah, no, I would live there. I mean, it's close to the United States, so I could always fly home to, to see kids or grandkids. Or, you, you got some spit spit? Oh. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's <laughs> I think that's no big. <laughs> um, but no, I, I would definitely um, live there. And on one of any any one of those islands. and It's a beautiful you know, place. It is. And but, our... Uh, I can't imagine what those people uh, that are in the uh, the affected areas are going through right now. Right. Please keep in mind um, there are still cruises going to the Bahamas. Nassau was pretty much pretty much unaffected. Um, it got a lot of rain, but it wasn't destroyed. So if you do have a cruise to the Bahamas, please don't cancel it. The cruise lines, every cruise that goes there is delivering the the stuff private to islands. I, I believe I have heard that all of those are yes. back up and running. I'm sure that there's a broken tree here and there, but 
you know, as far as the uh, the places to get off, Stirrup K, Coco K, what's uh, Carnival's? Uh, Coco K, Stirrup K, Princess K. Uh, they're all fun. They're all they're, the K's. They're all, they're all running. Yes. Or keys. How are you keys. Choose? Keys yeah. K's. Is it a staycation or a staycation? Staycation. <laughs> <laughs> Guess that settles that <laughs> argument. <laughs> um. So yeah, don't cancel your cruises. Um, Nassau is still in great shape. Unfortunately, um, Freeport, um, their dock was open this morning. Um, I watched a live video as we record this today of a uh, Royal Caribbean ship docked in Freeport and people wheeling uh, 10,000 meals off and uh, generators and water and supplies and stuff like that. But like I said, I won't get yeah. in, uh, let's not get yeah. into that too much here. Okay. So we'll enjoy these drinks and uh, be back in 20. Uh, after we finish, we'll do the blowy and see what two ounces of uh, delicious gin drink does to us. Oh, this is really good though, but I might need snacks for drink too. It's awesome. <laughs> right? Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back. Welcome back. Alrighty, so great drink. Amazing drink. Who would have thought we would ever make a drink with just gin in it, but. And we like it. Once again, I'm amazed. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get down to the math. I'm going to get down to port. If you have anything to share, um, without Jason interrupting like he usually does, your oh time is coming up in four seconds. Yay! This is a big chance. Two, one. Okay, so, um, yeah, totally drink this Bahama drink. If you like a painkiller, you will like this drink. It does contain gin, but you don't get the gin out of it. Uh, it's just, it's it's that good. Okay, you can talk now. 0.07. And apparently it's powerful. Although we did do pregame, so <laughs> yeah, I'm about uh, three beers and uh, okay, sky juice into this. Sorry, I had to clear the cup with from my set. Um, yeah, this drink is very nummy, very easy to make. Um, I really like the sweetened condensed milk in the little spouty thing. That makes a big difference. Three ingredients. Three ingredients. It's, Three that, ingredients. it's that awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to count ice as an ingredient. Oh, four then. <clears throat> Woo! But I have already dived into the crackers. Yep. So I was just pre-gaming on the crackers. Pre-gaming on the crackers. <clears throat> so, like I said, if you get the chance to go check out our uh, YouTube uh, challenge video to donate to, for the people of uh, the Bahamas. Um, that would be much appreciated, and if there's something you could do, that would be awesome too. Our community is amazing. Some of the best out there. I think you put too much ice in the cups. At least my cup. Yep, my cup. And so that well, was the beef feeder gin. Just top it. 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 Then um, that won't be an accurate representation, because. Cause it'll, yeah, cause then it'll be stronger. I still got some of the left of the what's left of it over there. Yeah. You want to go with the uh, the raw? Can we crack one? Yes. Not sure how exactly this is done. Not sure how this is gonna go. So prepare yourself. Shit. Ha. Oh. Our bar is not is, is not very sturdy. Oh, I love coconut. It is good. Coconut is awesome. Now, I one of the videos you were watching on how to crack open a coconut right. talked about um, if you bake it for 15 minutes, um, it'll help you get that. Come on, muscles, make it happen. I'm trying not to break it all into pieces. Oh. So just <laughs> basically pop it out. I'm sympathy squishy. Are you going to blow? Oh, yep. <laughs> sympathy squishy. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Zero. Oops, 0. 0.9 off of one drink, honey. Wow. Well, 
A little pregame. I did a there. little pregame, but not enough pregame to make this happen. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Whoa. 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 See, that's what I was trying to keep from doing. God, I love fresh coconut. Me too. Nom, nom, nom. Why does fresh coconut taste different than every other coconut? Is this supposed to be on top? Mm -mm. Well, can you... <laughs> can you help me out here? <laughs> can you smack it? Woo! Whoops! Would you like some coconut? No, you don't like it. I got plenty. <laughs> This is so good. I love fresh coconut. So is Jason. So we're in heaven right now. Oh, check it out. Frothy and everything. Huh? As my dad would say, the presentation. <laughs> right. We got like coconut shit all over. <laughs> Honey, I have wipes. They don't dry anything, though. Oh, no, they don't. But I have wipes, so I can make this happen. So we're going to drink this? Yep. Now I'm gonna get on into more snacks. If you I like, like the, a painkiller, this is right up your alley. I actually like the beef eater better than the sapphire. Really? Because our pregame was with the sapphire and the beef eater is definitely juniper forward. But I think I like the beef eater better. We'll drink these. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Cheers to the people of the Bahamas. Our love and thoughts are with you. Yes. Welcome back. Two delicious bohemian sky juices. Yum. Yep. Freaking yum. Honey, I'm breaking into the hurricane snacks. <laughs> Getting into a pineapple, on the other hand, is That's not a pineapple? With, or, excuse me, a coconut <laughs> is not without uh, risk. No. He had to use like heavy machinery. It's a labor shit. of love. It's a labor of love. It is. By the way, the snack of the week is white cheddar rich cracker or Cheese Square it. thingies. Cheese it. Cheese it. Oh yeah! <laughs> blow! 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 A blowy blowy! Speaking of blow, blow was washing up on Cocoa Beach thanks to Dorian. 1.1. You reach out. Oh. Sorry, 0.11 for Jace. Over, yeah, I, I, I went, well, a lot of pre-gaming going on there. And uh... Post-gaming yeah, as well. Better. I'm actually impressed with this drink. This is definitely someone I'm going to add to my repertoire of cocktails. Oh. <coughs> I'm lower You're than you are. You're actually lower than me. That's fucking weird because I feel like schnockered shit faced. See, there's there's a thing about holding your liquor. I got mine. You're higher than me. I'm Mr. Rowe. I'm higher than you? Is, that, is that what you said? <laughs> Their ABV is higher than mine. Yes, that's true. So I'm not that you drunk. You want to redo? Yep. I'm not that drunk. <laughs> I'm not that drunk. I got now I've had sips of beer, so this should be freaking interesting. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I got crackers and I'm getting ready to have water. Point one two. <laughs> this, this story just keeps getting worse for me. It says, warning, warning. Warning. You have tried to keep up with the Bohemian people. You are in danger. <laughs> danger, Will Robinson, danger. So, what are we doing tonight? Drinking more of these freaking delicious things and eating all this uh, coconut. It is a, uh, it's like a Rubik's Cube to get into. <laughs> Still 1.0. Huh. You wanna go again? You wanna go? You wanna go, bro? You wanna go three <laughs> times? You want me to kick your ass three times? I can't keep up with you, you know that. 
Okay, so uh, for, for the record, this is probably the first time in history that I have ever been lower than he is. So I need to gloat. Throw a little, throw a little knock my way. Yeah, Keep I going. need to gloat and I need to egg it on. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm starting to possibly hold my liquor. Well, the thing is, do this, Not. The, do this video <laughs> later in the afternoon. Right? After Jason said friends come over. Yes, after he's done some pregame. And uh, we've tried the drink. Right. And then mix the drink. I drank most of that one that you, we tried. Oh, okay. So you just suddenly developed a superpower of holding your liquor. Right. Gotcha. Girl power. Yeah, I won't. I won't steal your thunder. Yeah. How many beers did you have before you had that half a drink? I don't know. Who keeps count, right? <laughs> I'm like three. For me, it just happened when I'm on a ship. It just it, like I show up at the bar. I'm like, yeah, I'd like another whatever the fuck. You know, and they're like, uh, yeah, this is your 15th. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, it's 5.30. That's not great. Krista, how many drinks have you had? I've had 10. Right, you're like, phew, <laughs> I got five to go. <laughs> and I can barely walk, so it will be a flat evening after, anything after eight <clears> is <throat> flat. So if I try to wear heels, he's going to need to hold me up because I may fall. I'll carry you. Oh, God, you're so sweet. I know. Okay, so please pray for everyone who is Bohemian yeah. or has family in the Bahamas, yeah. specifically the Grand Bahamas and Freeport. Um, thank you for the cruise lines for stepping up. And go watch the uh, the video that we we put out. It should come out at the same time as this video, roughly. If Jason, if who editing has, Jason has fucking together. figures his shit out. But uh, <laughs> we just didn't want to make a really long video that was a challenge video to uh, the YouTube community to uh, support the cruise lines, support their charities, give on your own, or at least throw a positive vibe. We don't want to see uh, the Bohemian people hurt as much as they're hurting could currently. Happen. It could happen. I mean. It's, it's going to be a real humanitarian crisis, so uh, our hearts ache for those people right now. Dorian left on Friday? Or no? I don't remember, but... Dorian left Thursday. Literally, someone somewhere in the Bahamas spent an entire day in the eye of a hurricane. The eye of a hurricane. I mean... And granted, the eye I don't is know blue if, sky, I but... don't know if that has ever... But you got to go through a 200-mile-an-hour wind to get in it and to get out of it. There was saying gusts up to 220 so, miles an hour. Uh, yeah, it's just awful. And uh, uh, our, our I, I don't know, there's not words enough to describe it. And certainly I'm not, uh, I'm not articulate enough to describe how bad we feel for them. And what, if we could do more, we would do more. But as, uh, if you watch the other video, what we're gonna do is apply everything we make off YouTube, t-shirts, anything that has anything to do with degenerate cruisers to a donation um, for the to next one, month. Of, one of those charities. So this month from September 1 to September, whatever the last 30th, day, 30th is uh, t-shirts, whatever. So if you were planning on buying some or if you'll let the ad play on a YouTube video of ours or just turn that thing on autoplay and watch all the videos from your TV and let it run while you go to the grocery store because whatever. I've done that shit. Oh, so you're like our main contributor. Cool, thanks. Um, yeah. Not to us, to other people. Oh, of course, yeah. But anyway, at any rate, every, everything that, that, that we um, land from being the degenerate cruisers, we will donate to one of those charities to uh, help the people of the Bahamas. Yeah. So, um, there you go. So, without further ado. Adieu. And my adieu. 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 And my 1.0 to his 1.2. Celebrate, Celebrate the, the day. day. Thanks for watching. Much love to our friends. Be the good in the world. Spread the love and go on an adventure. Please like, comment, and subscribe.